What's up gamers? This is that PlayStation Gamer. Today we're gonna talk about that Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. So first things first, uh, I did a live reaction to it on Cowboys Podcast on Monday. Go check out that episode. I'll probably post a link in the description. And that was my immediate reaction to it. I did a reaction stream to that one. Well, not to this that stream, but to the trailer on my own terms. Wasn't happy with it, being honest. So I deleted it. And I guess I'm giving you my overall, you know, thoughts on it now. You know, t some time has passed. Everyone's talking about it. So why not? So first off, what, how, what? What do I think of the graphics of this game? It looks pretty damn good. <laughs> like, I think the best way to put it is like, this looks like on the same caliber as Red Dead Redemption 2. If not, a little bit higher. But there are things in this trailer that I'm like, that almost looks too good. You know, it's like you, it's like when you watch, you know, a supposed gameplay trailer but it's like the gameplay is very selective, you know, what they're showing and what they're not showing. So I feel like this is kind of that same category. It's like, it's not bad looking. It looks great, in fact. But it's like sometimes you, you got to learn how to like, no, you have to remind yourself that they're putting on their best foot forward. They're putting their best face on, you know, th this is like if you were to let someone, you know, be like, hey, man, you got to dress up. You got to look nice. Uh, we're going to like a wedding or something. It's like, okay, well, they're going to put on their nice, their nice suit. They're going to put on, they're going to look their best. This isn't how they look all the time. So it's kind of that same veil, but I am very happy that they, they straight up confirmed Vice City's back. And if you don't know, GTA Vice City's my favorite Grand Theft Auto. I think it's the best one when it comes to that kind of hyper parody nature that Grand Theft Auto is known for but it's like it, it it's almost like a straight up ripoff or like a parody of like a movie like Scarface for example so I am very interested to see how Vice City the the place itself is going to play out because I got a feeling it's going to be much bigger than GTA 5 which that alone is crazy and the fact that we're going to get so many different forms of wildlife, different vehicles, different weapons and all that stuff, that's pretty damn cool. I, I, there's no denying that looks good. What also looks good is the story potential here. So we know from the leaked uh, footage got I put out there a while back that this story of GTA 6 is supposed to be that, like this kind of Bonnie and Clyde story. So you'll be playing as this couple, uh, a woman and a man, clearly, duh. And you will be playing their story how, I'm going to assume how they met at one point and how they go from being like nobodies to great, you know, bank robbers or something. That's why I assume the story is about, but it's also going to be about their struggles and all that stuff. And that looks pretty cool. That, that like that's like the first for Grand Theft Auto. This is the first Grand Theft Auto is actually having a female lead. So I'm very interested to see how that's going to play out. I know some people don't like it. Some people are already calling it woke. Some people are saying this is just going to be, you know, woke Theft Auto 6. Um, personally, I'm in the camp of let's wait and see before we make calls like that. I think that's ridiculous. I think people need to grow up. Stop, you know, just judging things just because, you know, you have a preconceived, you have a preconceived notion that this is going to be woke. So, uh, just, it's stupid. Just stupid people doing stupid shit. But overall, I like the trailer. It looks nice. It's a good looking trailer. My problem with it is, really, it's a teaser trailer. <laughs> it's the same thing when you get a teaser trailer. For a TV show, uh, other upcoming game, and all that. It's like they're only showing so much. And I would, in an ideal world, you know, I, I wish it'd be, you know, actual gameplay. I wish it would actually be more of a story synopsis, like at least get more of a general idea. But for a teaser trailer, it works fine. Also, 2025, no, no shocker there, because. There's no way in hell Grand Theft Auto is coming out next year. So, 
yeah, overall, good trailer. I got nothing else to say outside of um, don't uh, don't hype this game up to be like the big the biggest and best thing ever. Because whenever people do that for any game, you set yourself up for disappointment. And let's be real here, Modern Rockstar isn't exactly the best at what they do at times, but that's a whole different debate that we could have one day. So till next time, guys, this is that PlayStation Gamer sign out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube, YouTube algorithm BS. Bye.